Hi everybody, Grax Bishop here, and today I will be reviewing the super unidirectional condenser microphone. From which brand? Nobody knows. That might seem like an odd thing to say, but there's a reason for that. Yes, I'll be reviewing this super condenser microphone, unidirectional condenser microphone, which has no branding on it. I've had this microphone for quite some time, I want to say a few years, and uh, I had forgotten what it was actually called. So I thought I'd go on to Amazon to see if I could find it, and I can't. I found other brands which are similar to it, including Weihan, Chuli, Fest Night, and judging by the pictures, they all look more or less the same as this microphone. So I'm guessing it's just a generic brand. But will it sound any good? That's what we're here to find out. We're not using the microphone right now, because right now I'm using my tried and tested Rode microphone, uh, which is connected to one of these Zoom microphones. And that's what I typically set up for my recording setup. But what do you get in this particular box here? Well, let me show you. For one thing, you get the actual condenser microphone itself. Now, at the end of the microphone is an XLR connection, which allows you to connect to cables which have an XLR socket. On the side of the microphone, there is a slider switch which points to off, normal, and tele, which I presume is telescopic. I'll be testing each of these different modes. This whole thing runs off one single A battery. The cable itself is pretty long and it gets easily tangled up. On the one end, it contains an XLR socket connection to connect to the condenser microphone. At the other end of the cable contains connections, which allows you to connect to either a 3.5 millimeter jack or a 6.35 millimeter or one quarter inch jack. Also contained inside this box is the thin paper instruction manuals, which contains pretty much everything you need to know on how to operate this thing. And lastly, you get a foam cone head, which allows you to slip it onto the microphone itself, which helps to reduce the popping sound and potentially any wind interference into wind sounds. Although for something like that, you would ideally need a dead cat to put on top. With all that being said, is this microphone any good? With that being said, I'm going to plug it into my Zoom. And from that point on, you will be listening to this microphone and you'll be able to hear the audio quality. Right. So now that's all plugged in, you'll be seeing... Hmm. Yeah, so it is pretty quiet. I'm editing the video now and I'm going to have to turn up the volume on the condenser microphone so you can actually hear what I'm saying. I will put a number to indicate how much I'm turning up the volume by. You might also notice that it records in mono rather than stereo. Right, so now that's all plugged in, you'll be seeing this little bit of a tip at the end, of which is the microphone. And this is the audio quality from the microphone right now. So let's begin the test. And this is on normal mode. So right now, I'm pretty close to the microphone. I'm about four inches away from the microphone. And this is what it sounds like at this point here. Now I'm stepping back. Uh, let's see, I'm about two feet away from the microphone. And this is what it sounds like from here. Three foot away. And this is what it sounds like. Uh, four foot away. And when I say foot, and when I say foot, I actually am talking, taking steps back. So that's your rough guesstimate there. I love the word guesstimate. That's sarcasm. And this is five foot steps back. And this is what it sounds like from this distance here. Six and seven. And this is what it sounds like from this distance here. Right, so that's what the sound quality is like. Uh, I am now going to switch it to telly. All right, so now this is at telly, and the only thing I've done is flip the switch, and this is what the sound quality is like, about four inches away from the microphone. I'm stepping back to two feet away from the microphone, and this is what it sounds like. Uh, I've just got to twist the microphone a little bit, so I'm putting more in my mouth, and I step back, like so. So now it's stepping back to three steps, or three foot, and this is what the sound quality is at four steps. And from here, I'm going very, very far away. But I'm coming up to five steps. Unfortunately, it doesn't really matter what the video quality is like, even though I'm recording on my DSLR. All we care about is the audio quality. And going back to seven foot, or is it six foot? I've kind of lost count, but luckily you don't have to worry about that because you're watching this. I'm just gonna say this is seven foot back here. 
And this is what the sound quality is like, me talking at a normal level. And I won't be doing anything to fix the sound, not even reducing the hissing, which might naturally come out of this. So, that concludes the test for this generic condenser microphone. When I first got this microphone many years ago, it was selling for about 15, 20 pounds on Amazon, which is around 20, 25 US dollars, give or take. Uh, checking back on Amazon today with those three brands, I can see that they cost between 12 to 15 British pounds, which tells me that the price has gone down. But the question is, is it worth having this microphone? Well, I'm hoping you can make that decision in terms of listening to the audio quality. For me, I don't think it's really worth using for any big, major projects. I mean, for that, I'll still stick to this Rode microphone, which is what you're currently listening to now. But maybe as like a little throwaway project where I don't mind it being destroyed or damaged, it might be okay. But I hope that answers any and all questions. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you found this video useful at all, consider subscribing to this channel where I'll be posting more reviews and also doing more Let's Plays and I will have general vlogs. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. That helps me out tremendously. And you could also follow me on the social medias, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, or Grax Bishop, also Twitch as well. Thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you next time.